Hi, I'm at Ultimate Music in Winchester, Virginia. Today I'm going to do a review on one of my favorite games for the Atari 2600. Cosmic Commuter by Activision, 1984. This is a very original take on Defender. Uh, the Defender for the 2600 was awful. Defender 2, Stargate, both the same game. Convoluted, having to use two Atari 26 controllers, one to use for steering the ship and the other to use your weapons. And Star Gunner had simulated scrolling, which wasn't a true side scroller. This is Cosmic Commuter, the most underrated Atari 2600 game of all time. So we're going to turn it on into the Atari 2600 now. I'm going to get going here, start the game. Okay. Okay, at the top of the screen when we start, you're going to see a spaceship. That's you. This rocket ship, you got to safely dock, which will, the top will unleash the Astro bus. Okay, so let's do that. You got to move fast before the space matter takes over the last surviving humans on the planet. Can't collide with them or run out of fuel, or you will die as well as all the last surviving humans. You're commuting them to a safe planet. That is your goal: is to pick them off and commute them off this planet to a safe one. You got to do this quick without running out of fuel before the space matter takes them. The more humans you get, the more bonus you get at the end of each wave. You see over there at the bottom, we've got four humans now. Three ships. It tells you where they're located at. You push down on your joystick, and you easily pick up the humans. Scrolling is great with this moving your joystick. You see, I got two left. I gotta always keep in mind not to run out of fuel. So you gotta pick them up or they turn into space matter. I got seven humans now, so I wanna be careful not to crash and kill all these humans as well as myself. I got all of them here. I get the space matter out of the way. I'm going to dock my Astro bus and then I'm going to lift off into space by pushing up right here. And you get bonus for every human that you got. And I picked up a lot. This is where you really get your points. Now you're going to another planet that has been invaded by space matter. You gotta safely dock the spaceship. The Astrobot is released. You got other types of space matter as obstacles that are gonna totally annihilate the planet. You gotta pick up these humans, the last existing humans, on the surface of the planet while not running out of fuel or colliding into any of the space matter. The graphics are very colorful and detailed. Be real careful, 
especially after you picked up. I got seven humans here. If I crash, they all die. And that's where you get your big points. There should be one more right here. Now I gotta get back to the spaceship. safely land. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. So release the Astro bus. So we gotta move really quick now. And I gotta pick up some fuel. There's one right here. Run out of fuel. You're dead. And at the bottom you can see where the humans are located. And I'm running out of fuel again, so I better get another... I didn't pick up as many humans now. So the game keeps on getting harder. You see more obstacles, your fuel moves faster. And you just continue through space. That's my review of Cosmic Commuter. A top 10 Atari 2600 game that should be on anybody's list for Atari 2600 favorites. This is Ultimate Music in Winchester, Virginia. Home of all your classic gaming.